Capricorn. I will be now exploring what is bringing the both of you together with this person. And then we'll have a look and see uh, the strengths of your connection, the areas where you could be very, very strong in your relationship, but also the areas where you may come across a few hurdles. Okay, so let's have a look at the first thing about what's bringing you and this person together. Capricorn. Okay, this is very beautiful. You've got soul song. I often indicate a very highly uh, spiritual and or soulmate connection, and that did sort of come up uh, in the general YouTube reading. So it's almost like a validation or a beautiful reminder uh, that this connection is quite pure. Uh, soul song is the rhythm. Okay, so I feel like you're going to find more routine in this person or your want, desire to manifest a more committed love connection is really going to mirror that of this person. So I feel like you're starting off quite strongly here. Now you've got the number five because four and one make five and five is a, a beautiful number of important decisions. Uh, you know, the five senses. So it's, it's encompassing a lot. Now I feel like this relationship is, is really like a full throttle one. Uh, I feel like it's one where a lot of important decisions are going to be based around this relationship, living situation, life aspirations, love connections, career, emotions. I think there's a lot that's going to come into play, uh, Capricorn. So this is going to be very, very telling. But let's have a look at the strengths of this connection. King of Cups, Four of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, the King of Cups came up twice. Uh, your emotions for each other is really going to be the driving factor to this relationship. Although there might be hurdles, or although there might be lessons, deep down, I think you'll really love this person, Capricorn, and vice versa. And this is going to be your strong point here. I do see that a lot can come from this relationship because the Four of Wands often indicates a long-term commitment or celebrating love. Now, maybe not all of you want to get married or um, remarried or, you know, whatever it is, whatever sort of milestone. Maybe those things aren't necessarily important to you. As long as you have that person, that's what matters. But I feel like... um. I feel like there's a lot about commitment here. And when we want to commit, it it comes from a very honest place. So seeing this, I feel like there's going to be a lot of trust and love between the both of you. Um, Four of Wands can also be seen as a card of support and encouragement. So I think in areas of supporting each other with career, with life choices, lifestyle choices, um, minor, small day-to-day -day decisions, your ability to encourage each other and, and uplift each other is going to be very powerful in this relationship, I think. And looking at the positives, bringing each other happiness and joy through thoughtful gestures, through experiences, through surprises. I think that's where your strength is going to reside uh, here, Capricorn. So that's absolutely fantastic. But you'll take a very much, you'll, you'll very much take a practical approach to this relationship. The Seven of Pentacles, you know, he's got this bushel here full of pentacles and it's about earning this. So in terms of earning respect and trust and faith and love and devotion towards each other, it's all about your action. And I feel like there's dedication, the word dedication comes to mind. Uh, because that's when you see, that's when you reap the rewards. Once you've accumulated, you know, you've 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 collected um, experiences or or, or uh, ways in which you have shown this person how you feel and ways in which this person will show you how they feel. But I like this because it talks about behavior. It's a kind of contemplation and thinking. And I think the way in which you think could be very similar. I also think when it comes to when you need to decide or make a decision together, I think it's very methodically thought through. So that shows a very mature and very rational approach from both sides, uh, which is very powerful indeed. But I do think King of Cups, the both of you could fall very, very hard for each other, Capricorn. Um, you could end up giving them a lot. Okay, in areas of challenge, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. 
Okay, that Piscean influence sort of came up a little bit here with the King of Chalices because it's got a fish here. And read in the context of challenge, the Pisces can be very interchangeable, give mixed signals, uh, or become very deeply attached and very codependent emotionally. It's only because I read it in a context of obstacle. So I feel like mixed messages or the waving of emotions it's almost like an emotional roller coaster capricorn and i definitely think it's going to be a lot to handle um, now you're a very resilient sign so i think if if any of the signs were to deal with that sort of piscean behavior it would be you um, i think you take a very realist approach to things so i definitely feel you can counteract that um but the Page of Cups can also be unrealistic fantasies or expectations that are placed on one another. It's a projection of fantasy. The Pisces is the dreamer of the Zodiac, so it's irrelevant if this person is Pisces or not. If this is coming up in your challenges, it could very well indicate that someone is projecting some sort of fantasy of who they want you to be, how they want you to act, how they want you to come across. Vice versa, Capricorn, this could be you, and this is unhealthy. Um, it's burdensome energy that we place on our partners and it prevents us, you know, we put this on, we put that sort of energy on them. And when they don't meet those expectations that can be somewhat unrealistically inclined, it becomes, you know, we step into this anxious vortex and that's quite unhealthy. Look, the eight of swords is a lot of anxiety, but it's self-induced anxiety or turning a blind eye to something. It's also, also can be read as narrow mindedness. So I think that's important for you to be receptive and open-minded coming into this connection. Also, this person could be a little bit closed off or narrow-minded, so you may have to do some compromise, uh, areas of compromise. You may struggle a little bit, Capricorn. So it's important to be to have patience. You know, he's raked up these these pentacles at a time of patience. So you might you might take that on board and know you have to be even more patient with this person than you have been in previous relationships for example but the eight of swords could be something that you choose not to see or choose to look away from vice versa it could be that someone chooses not to see or acknowledge something about you it's not seeing your vision or not sharing your thoughts or being trapped in an unhealthy thought cycle so presumptions that's what's coming up here the knight of cups read in a context of challenge um because he has this 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 row that's paved out for him here, I wonder if this is things that get complex when the road gets tough or when the road gets hard and there's a bit of an incline in the relationship. Maybe that's when you see this person sort of flip and flop on their feelings or project this sort of eight of swords anxious energy. I'm wondering when things do build up because that mountain, you know, it can also be read as a climax, a climactic part. So when do things do become tense or difficult, you may notice that's when this person maybe exhibit that behavior, that mutable behavior, or it could be you Capricorn, you may be the one exhibiting that sort of behavior, changing of mind, changing of hearts, a bit of, um, instability with emotions the emotions are there i definitely feel this is quite a you're in for a wild ride emotionally i think with this person and if you've never had this before there's definitely something unique about this person that's going to bring that out in you and you may even sort of surprise yourself um but i think that i, I do feel like in some way with the knight of cups they may push you to your limits a bit uh capricorn or vice versa you could be pushing them to their limits. So, I mean, that, that that's also likely, but obviously each situation is going to be very different. But I think the bond that you'll create together, you know, that beautiful union with the Four of Wands, I think it is a strong bond and the King of Cups does overpower the Page of Cups. So it may take time to get through those those interchangeable emotions maybe from both sides both parties but ultimately the king of cups overrides it and if that's your strength then i don't think you'll have dramas to sort of curtail those sorts of mixed emotions okay i will leave your reading at that though capricorn so thank you again for watching